Hi, Marcia. Thanks for joining us today. Pleasure. Um, can we just start by asking how new technologies like AI are affecting the security of critical national infrastructure? So I think firstly, it changes kind of what we think of as CNI. Some of these new technologies, I think in the future, could we could end up being critically dependent on them. And I always think about the internet itself, a widely available internet. Um, you know, years ago when it's firstly an emerging technology, we did think about it as critical, but now I think everyone would say it's critical. And then thinking about CNI itself at the moment, I think we just need to be really aware of kind of what risks come with new technologies. There are great opportunities and we have to be excited about that and the opportunities they bring to CNI and the wider economy. But thinking about the risks, how we mitigate them, and then thinking about resilience, how we would manage without them. And just kind of going out all of these new technologies with resilience in mind. And how's the threat picture changing? The threat picture is always adapting and we've put out a number of alerts over the last year from NCSC about the changing threat to CNI. And again, I come back to, to that resilience point. I think the threat can change, but so we need to be really mindful in, especially when we're thinking about CNI, about kind of how we keep the show on the road, how we keep the lights on, how we keep the taps running and make sure that's kind of built into all of our planning. Great. And what should organisations be doing and thinking about to prepare? Um, I think organisations at every level should be really aware of the threats, really thinking about how they are set up to kind of prevent and respond to incidents. And I think that's the bit that people forget because, um, you know, it's not, it means that something's gone wrong, but actually if you're there with your board preparing for what you would do if you were subject to a cyber attack, you're going to have a much better incident and that is a good thing to aim for. And now much of the economy is pivoting towards net zero. How does that pivot towards a net zero future redefine what we consider about um, critical national infrastructure and how do we be more resilient in that, in that environment? So if we take um, energy as an example, so energy is a um, CNI sector, but we'll have lots of new ways of producing energy that weren't thinking about net zero and we just have to approach all of those understanding what the risks are what the threats are knowing that they are going to be huge cni but actually i think there's great opportunity here lots of our cni has got is we really old and you're trying to retrofit um cyber security in with all of these new kind of evolving um providers we've got the opportunity to kind of bake cyber security in from the start and i think that's quite exciting so what's the message to organizations that are rolling out next zero technology like energy production um think about cyber security from day one and make sure you're building systems that are secure by design and finally what would you say to anyone that's considering joining us in may at cyber uk um, come along, it's a great event. I always kind of leave Cyber UK with lots of energy, with new ideas, um, new partners to work with. It's a great opportunity to find people to collaborate with, people you don't meet on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and it's just a wonderful event. It's kind of like one of the highlights of my year.